Hi Vogue, I'm Sophia Rowe and today we're here in my apartment in Copenhagen. We are in the living room and uh, the couch that I'm sitting on is actually the first couch that I ever bought. The Togo is just uh, a classic and um, I guess that's a special piece to me. We are obsessed with lights. We have a lot of lights in the whole room and I want to show you a special piece um, which is the butterfly lamp from Tobias Gaba and Philip and I share a birthday on the same date so we decide we decided to buy ourselves a piece that we want uh, for our home each year and this year we got the butterfly lamp. I have a picture of my mother and I. <laughs> what I learned from my mother was was always to look at all the lines and they have to align and uh, the geometry of a room. Something from fashion that I take with me into my home is to make sure to mix textures. So have a lot of different textures that will build up the room and um, make it harmonious and yeah, fun to be in. This is where we like to come with our friends and just put on a good record and um, chill, hear good music. Um, I think this is one of the rooms that we use the most beside the kitchen. I play classic music, so I played piano since I was a child, so obviously we hear a lot of that. Uh, I think Philip and I are quite passionate about electronics, so we hear a lot of electronics too. It's a really funny mix, but uh, that's who we are. Ah. Voila! <laughs> So right now we're going into my office, which is where I usually sit and work on my brand, The Garment. The Garment, I do creative direction, I do styling, and I work together with my partner, Charlotte. And uh, we just had a show here in Copenhagen, and uh, we did a shoe together with Gia, an Italian uh, brand. So this is my workspace where I sit and do all this stuff. Next step, uh, I don't know, we're going to prepare it next week for the next season. I find a lot of my inspiration at, um, first of all, all the shows that I attend. It is always a great source of inspiration and uh, I like to just go back to my archive, which is all of these fantastic books that my boyfriend Philip and I has gathered for lots of years. I think it's always fun to go back in time and try to reinvent something that, that used to work and now can work in another sense. I think I just like to have a lot of things around me. I collect all my invitations and just save everything in boxes. And I, I think I have stuff from, from back when I was 21. So I have quite quite a bit now and look into the old invitations reminding me of everything that I saw and I think, I mean, the RAF and Amusia Prada show, the first time they did it uh, was absolutely amazing. So yeah, that's a good memory. The very first show of the Garmin is already four seasons ago now and we did it in a very little uh, gallery and I had all my chairs from the apartment mixed up in one room. And uh, I think that was a setting that people really remember. It was quite personal and, and small. Of course, uh, I have to mention that my mother did this lamp, so it's quite special for me. Uh, my mother does interior, so you'll see that around my apartment today. Right, so now I will show you my secret room, which is, of course, the closing room. <laughs> I remember 
buying this when I was an early teen and I dreamt so much about having a Marc Jacobs tea, tea and I finally got it so um, I like to keep this one with me. Um, of course I'm super obsessed with coats um, since I'm in Copenhagen where it's cold most of the time. Uh, these two, one from Saint Laurent and Dries van Norden. And um, a last piece that I really want to show you. My very first handbag, and uh, it's of course the Balenciaga motorbag. Um, I don't know if you remember it, but uh, for me that was like, wow. I saved up for so long to, uh, to purchase this. And uh, yeah, so it's a special item for me. My fashion no-no, I guess. There are there is no no. <laughs> Right now we're inside the bedroom, the place in my home where I get the most peace. I really just want everything to be as quiet as possible. We have the iconic zigzag chair that I think kind of just creates some geometric to, uh, to the room. And uh, of course, a lot of vintage vases, um, the iconic floss lamp, a little bit of books. We kept the whole room in a very muted, um, probably very typical Scandinavian palette. Uh, Grey, white, ivory, and uh, a thing that's translated quite well into the way that I like to dress. Um, so today I'm wearing this full look from The Garment, uh, which was actually on our show doing Copenhagen Fashion Week, and I got to borrow it for today. I forgot to show you my beauty routine. This is where I do my beauty routine. I like to keep it really simple. Um, so, of course, a good cleanser, um, my two serums, um, and some SPF, and just a moisturizing cream. My secret tip is I always order some ice cubes and just put my face in the ice cubes and it really just wakes me up and get the blood going and uh, yeah, that's how I, uh, how I deal with jet lag or whatever I'm going through. We are in the dining room right now which is, of course, a very special room since this is where we have all our guests over. We cook and uh, have wine, listen to music. So it's a very social room. We chose a big dining table, uh, which is made by my mother, Louise, together with the tray. This really creates the whole room, I think. Um, maybe even together with the lamp made from rice paper which kind of creates the good sound in here but also some texture um, against the wood that contrast is really nice of course the piano that uh, i've had for a very very long time i've been playing since i was a child and it's a great way to escape busy, busy days and just sit here and play by myself. Would you like me to play? I tried. <laughs> 